Hello everyone, my name is Leonardo Gomez. I'm a big data specialist at Amazon Web Service. And today I'm going to show you how to create an Amazon EMR cluster. EMR is our big data platform for processing vast amount of data using open source tools such as Apache Spark, Hive, Edgebase, Flink, Hoodie, and Presto among others. EMR allow you to decouple the storage from the compute by using Amazon S3 as the storage layer. It also offers you cost-saving options by using spot instances as part of your cluster. So let's see how to create our first EMR cluster. Okay, the first thing that we need to do is create an EC2 key pair. We are going to need it because using that key pair we are going to be able to access our cluster. Okay. So to do that, let's click the EC2 link here. And then let's look for the key pairs option. Please select the cre create key pair button. And then add the name of the key pair that you, are, that you are going to use. In this case, I'm going to put EMR demo. But again, you can select the name that you want, whatever name that you want to use. So in this case, let's uh, select a uh, create key pair. Now it's going, uh, the console is going to ask us for a location in order to uh, store or, or save our key. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to use uh, documents. You can use whatever location is the right fit for you. So let's click save. And that's it, we have our, our first key pair. So now let's go to services, look for EMR and select the EMR option. Okay, now we are in the home page for the EMR console. So let's click create cluster. We are going to use for today, we are going to use the advanced options because I want to show you how to customize your, your cluster. So click go to advanced options. As you see, the advanced options allow me to select the EMR version that I, that I want to use, but also helps you or allows you to select the tools that you want to use as part of your cluster. In this case, the only thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to add Spark. Here, as you can see, you have the option to enable multi-master. Okay, we're not going to do it as part of this demo. And you have the, uh, the option as well of selecting the Glue data catalog as the Hive table me metadata or for a Spark table metadata as well, but we're going to leave it uh, by default. Okay, we are not going to select that. And here at uh, the edit software setting, you have the option of customize a uh, wherever options related to the services of or the tools that you are going to use for example hive or, or spark in this case we are going to leave it by default okay so click next and this second page is going to allow us to configure the network and the compute configuration of our cluster so in this case for a cluster composition we are going to select uniform instant group okay for networking, we are going to select the default BPC and for the subnet, the default subnet as well. You can create your own BPC and add the, uh, the EMR cluster uh, inside, inside that BPC. Okay, is something that you can do. Then, if you see here, we have the nodes uh, configuration. You can select the instance type and the number of instances that you're going to have. Also, you have the option to select between core and task uh, node. Okay. Uh, another option that you can customize is the purchasing option. You can select on demand or spot instances. Okay. Another option that you can enable or disable here is the cluster scaling. In this case, we're going to leave it by default. So don't select it. And then you can change the EBS road volume size. Uh, by default is 10 okay you can change that number but for this example we are going to use just 10 okay so let's click next and then uh, let's change the name of the cluster in this case i'm going to put emr video okay and leave everything else by default okay 
Then this section here allows you, if you want to use, for example, a custom image to create your cluster, you can do it. In this case, once, uh, once again, we are going to leave this by default. Click Next. And if you remember the EC2 keeper that we created previously, here is the place that we are going to use it. So select that EC, that EC2 key pair and leave everything else by default, okay? So once we have all the information that we need in order to create a cluster, the only thing that you, that, uh, you need to do is click here, create cluster. This process is going to take around five minutes. Okay. Now, after five minutes, you can see that the status has changed. Now it said waiting. That means that the cluster is ready for us to use it. Here on this page, you can see general information about the cluster. But if you want to see the resources that were provisioned for your EMR cluster, you can see it here. As you see, you have one master node and two core nodes. Okay, now let's see how to connect our cluster using SSH. Okay, we're going to use the key pair that we created previously. Okay, and in order for us to see the command that we need to run to connect it to our EMR cluster, you have to select this option, connect to the master node. Okay, and here you're going to find the command that you need to run in order to connect to your EMR cluster. Okay, before we try to connect our EMR cluster, you need to go first to your VPC security group and look for the master node security group. And you need to add your IP address in the inbound rules of that security group. That is a necessary step in order to connect your cluster. After you do that, you need to copy this command, okay? And then let's open a terminal window. Once we have our terminal window open, the first thing that we have to do, we need to go to the location of our key. In this case, for me, it's documents. Okay, once we are there, we are going to give the right permissions to the key. So I'm going to run this command and we need to look for our keeper. After this, we are going to paste the command that we previously copy uh, on the EMR console. So the only thing that I'm going to do here, I'm going to change the path, okay? Perfect, click enter. Nice, we're inside our EMR cluster. So as you remember, we installed Spark as part of the tools that we are going to use in, in, in our cluster. So let's see, let's try it. So I'm going to run this comma. Okay, it's going to take a couple of minutes. Perfect, and now let's run a comment. And as you see, you have a Spark cluster up and running and you didn't have to do any extra configuration there. It was ready to go. That's it for now. Thank you for watching.